Hey everyone, I originally um, wanted to do a video on some of the apps available for Android for beginners that would be good for electronics um, and I started going through some of the apps and I found some that were good and some that weren't so good but then I found one particular app that was actually quite good and it's got a lot of functionality I think it will actually be pretty useful um, so I'm actually just going to show you a demonstration of the, um, of the app on my phone and, and what it actually does um, and yeah, if you're new to electronics, I think it would be actually pretty ha handy. So let's check it out. So the application's called Electro Droid. I'd assume by the name that it's only for Android. It's, uh, you'd have to have a look and see if you can find it for iPhone. There might be a, another program similar to it on iPhone, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, the program's called Electro Droid. And as I said, there's not really much point using any other application. I think um, uh, it's just got so many good features that so a lot of the other program, the other applications that I looked at, they they do one or two of the features that ElectroDroid does. But um, you know, I mean, what's the point when this program pretty much does all those things? So we'll just go through um, some of these applications. There's quite a few of them here, and and they're quite useful too. Um, so from the top, you've got the resistor, the standard sort of resistor color code. Um, uh, uh, calculator you can just punch in what colors you've got on the um, resistor and it will tell you what the value is um, I find this particularly good for when the um, when the circuits already built and you're just checking to make sure that you've actually put the right um, values in you can just punch in the the colors and it will tell you um, uh, the um, the value so you don't have to desolder them to check it with your multimeter and it's also got all the bands down the bottom here three four five six which is pretty good next one is the SMD resistor color code uh, I don't do any SMD, but by the looks of it, um, uh, you, I mean, if you're new to it, fair enough, it might be useful to you, but um, it looks to me like it's just um, 113, with 3 being how many zeros come after it, so if we put 4 in, it'll be uh, 110k, yeah, um, which is pretty straightforward, but there's that there, if, you, if you're getting used to the whole electronics thing, it might be useful to you. And then you've got inductor colour code, another thing that I don't really use, but it's the same as the um, as the uh, resistor uh, colour code. You punch it in and it tells you what the um, what the value is. So the next one we've got is like an Ohm's law calculator. You've got voltage, current, resistance, and power down the bottom, and um, you can put in uh, whatever values you want up here. And down the bottom it will tell you. Uh, you can lock it to a series, um, the, the E series of the resistor, um, and it'll tell you what the closest is for that series. As well down the bottom and what the what the percentage error is too which is pretty good and then you've got the reactance and resonance calculator um, to be honest I'm not too sure um, I don't really do much of this myself so um, I'll just show you what's on the screen it might be useful to you and then the next one is filters and I think this is the high pass oh yeah you can do um, um, uh, resistor capacitor filter um, which will work out the the, the cut-off frequency, the roll-off frequency um, down the bottom here. So that's that's another um, another useful calculator. You can whack in the um, you know whatever whatever um, capacitor value you're going to use. 100 nanofarad is pretty common. Um, and then it'll say, do you want to calculate the resistor value or the frequency value? So if I want to keep the resistor value at 11k, you can see it in the background there. And I'll just say I want to calculate the frequency value. And it will update the frequency value to what the what the roll off will be, which is pretty good. And there's a couple of other um, filters that you can that you can calculate as well. Um, yeah, so that's also pretty handy. This is a circuit simulator, but you actually have to install it, and I don't actually have it installed, so I can't comment whether it's any good or not. Um, voltage divider calculator. Again, you can whack in R1, R2. Um, uh, values and you know work out all sorts of things um, R load um, V out V in so there's a resistor ratio so if you're trying to work out um, what two values you're going to use um, in series to to get to another value um, you, you can whack them in and it will, and it will tell you also um, you, again you can lock it to an E series down the bottom as well which is pretty good Resistor value, um, series and parallel is pretty good. Um, obviously series is pretty straightforward, but um, for parallel you can do a quick calculation of the parallel resistance there. Um, capacitor charge, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but again, I'll show you the screen and you can see if it's any, um, 
any good for you if it's going to be um, of use. Op amp calculator, um, again another calculator, this time for the, uh, um, the op amp working out particular values for setting up the op amp. LED resistor calculator, um, you can just put in what, um, you know, what, what sort of um, uh, LED you're using, like um, super blue, and it will just automatically put in the, um, the current that the um, LED draws and the voltage, and then uh, because I do stuff with guitar pedals, I've already actually put in 9 volt there, so it'll tell you what um, resistor you can use to limit the current, um, but it won't, doesn't have anything to do with the uh, MCD of the LED so that you can actually tone them down because I can tell you if I put in a 270 ohm resistor with the super bright blue it would actually blind you, It's that's not high enough, I'd, I'd probably go up to 2k, whoops, I'd probably go up to 2k or higher um, for, the, um, for, the, for the LED resistor so I mean that's a bit of a, it'd be nice if it had that but yeah I mean still you can work out um, what resistor to put in so you, that you don't um, you don't burn out your um, LED. And the list goes on and on. You've got adjustable voltage reg regulator, um, if you're setting up a voltage regulator or a current regulator. You've got um, triple five timer calculator. You've got power dissipation calculator, again. Um, battery life calculator, inductor, which I think you can just work out how long a circuit's going to run with a particular battery. Inductor design tool for working if you're building if you're winding your own inductors. Voltage drop calculator. Um, oh, okay. So this is for uh, for wire, obviously, because AWG uh, wire length. Oh, okay. So if you again, I suppose that's like a resistive wire calculator, I guess. PCB trace width calculator, something to do with um, tra uh, trace standards. I'm not quite sure about that myself, but um, that's the screen if it's going to be useful to you. Decibel converter, frequency converter, analog digital converter. And then you've also got um, over here um, pinouts for particular cable um, connectors, things like that. You can see there's all sorts of um, stuff in there. And then you've got the resources tab. Pick microcontroller, database, um, resistivity table, as all sorts of stuff. AWG wire size, which I could have actually used when I was in the shop the other day, um, tells you, uh, you know, the AWG and the actual what that is actually is in um, millimeters and and yeah, all sorts of stuff. You can see across the top there. Um, yep, and uh, table of um, the um, the e the different values for the E series um, resistors and what else have we got table of standard capacitors uh, looks like a sort of a table converter of some sort uh, yep some lots of stuff in there uh, capacitor marking codes um, which have the um, uh, all the different capacitor values forgot to show you one thing back on the other calculator screen, there's a capacitor, a, I'm sure there's a capacitor code, um, a, a capacitor code calculator that will show you the, the capacitor value when you, when you, when you insert the code, uh, I must have seen that somewhere else, um, anyway, we'll just continue, um, circuit schematic symbols, um, all sorts of um, symbols that you can check if you come across a symbol you don't know. SMD package sizes, symbols and abbreviations, ASIC table, blah, 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 blah. There's, there's a heap of stuff in here. Um, it's really quite a useful um, useful little program. I wish I could find where that capacitor code calculator was, um, unless I'm thinking it may be of a different program, because um, I'm not seeing it, unless I'm just skipping over it and missing it, but um, I can't see it for some reason. What's up here? No, that's, that's, oh, you can install additional things like a part seeker uh, and that circuit simulator and you've got to download and install these um, modules. Um, I haven't used any of those though. That looks like settings, yeah. Um, not sure where that capacitor, I, I, I think maybe I'm thinking of a different program. It's actually not in this program, so I'll just go back out and see if I can find 
uh, yeah, I think it's probably this one. So this is actually a different program that you might want to consider getting. It's actually pretty useful when you're new to um, electronics. This is what I'm thinking of. When you're new to electronics, these um, film cap capacitors can be pretty confusing. So, I mean, if you get, you probably shouldn't use it for every capacitor that you use. Otherwise, you're never gonna you're never gonna learn um, what the codes mean. But if you get stuck with one, you can definitely check it. You know, like um, these common ones, 103, for instance, is 10 nanofarad. It will tell you 10 nanos. That's what the micro value is too, which is actually quite useful too because I've had uh, Wimmer film caps um, that have uh, 0.01. The first time I received one of those, I had no idea what that was. And then I kind of went back to the order and worked out that it was 10 nanos. So, um, yeah, that this program will actually tell you that value as well. So you can sort of, you know, if I receive that, that capacitor now, you know, I could put in 103, check it, oh yeah, it is 0.01, it must be that. Um, so yeah, it's, um, there's a few, um, uh, there's actually two applications, you could probably download this one too, it's just called Calculate Capacitor. I um, don't know if there's any more information about who's actually written the program. No, it's pretty basic, that's all there is. Um, but yeah, if you type in uh, Calculate Capacitor, you get that um, application as well. And the other one's ElectroDroid. So yeah, if you're new to um, electronics, there's, I mean, there's some advanced stuff in there as well. You know, it's not just um, for people that are new to it. But um, for me personally, some of the more basic stuff is going to come in handy. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just um, thought I'd just uh, share that, and um, uh, yeah, hopefully you find it um, useful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.